how much we are spending on so-called refugees. So last year in 2023, there was a record crush at our borders of 2.5 million migrant encounters. And Tommy, it's only getting worse. Just six days ago, Border Patrol reported stunning numbers, the worst ever, up 50% in a month, up to 302,000 encounters just in the last month. That's up 50%. So look, if that pace continues, you're looking at 3.6 million encounters uh, at our at our nation's borders. And look, Mexico is the number one country, about one out of every three of the encounters, their nation of origin is Mexico. But then you've got a lot of countries from Central America and South America and the Caribbean. So you've got Venezuela, Guatemala, Honduras, Colombia, even Cuba uh, with the crush of migrants on our borders. So the Trump wall at 15 billion, that really looked like a great deal. Remember when the left went absolutely crazy and apoplectic when President Trump wanted to build a border wall? And the estimates on that at the high end were $15 billion. One and done, then the wall's built. Now you got at least 10 billion a year and up 2 billion year over year through the Biden administration. He's on pace between 40 and $50 billion worth of illegal entrant assistance during the course of his four years. So when they want to sit here and complain that they don't have the money now because of Republicans to fix the problem that Joe started on day one, they're full of so much. The all-time high in illegal entrants has led to an all-time high in taxpayer funding and support once these folks get in our country. There's been 260,000 unaccompanied children come across the border. That's unaccompanied. These are kids uh, less than 18 years of age that come across without a parent or guardian. And so then they have to be sponsored into the system. And this, organ this agency that we're talking about, the Office of Refugee Resettlement, they've actually lost track of 85,000 of those unaccompanied kids. So this is from one agency within the Department of Health and Human Services. The mandate at this agency, they're ever expanding it to encompass more and more people. So for example, now nearly everyone coming over the border, they claim asylum. So they get the full suite of the, of the largesse from the American taxpayer uh, and all the benefits that traditionally were only available to a very narrowly defined subset of people. We talk about these kids that are coming over unaccompanied, a lot of them obviously under the age of 18. I can only imagine what the bill for that's gonna be over the next few years. What can you tell uh, us? Tommy, I'm glad you're talking about it. At OpenTheBooks.com, between 2013 and 2022, we quantified $13 billion worth of U.S. taxpayer assistance for the unaccompanied minors, but the numbers are up sharply and substantially, and there's actually a child trafficking crisis unfolding, which our this Office of Refugee Resettlement is an unwitting partner in this child trafficking scheme with the cartels. There's been 260,000 of these unaccompanied minors. These are kids under 18 years of age that are encountered on the border without a parent, without a guardian. Uh, 85,000 of them have been quote unquote lost within the system after this agency sponsors them out. They don't know where they're at. They really don't know who they're with anymore, and they can't get in touch with the sponsors of 85,000 of these unaccompanied minors.